Hello, today we'll be making a trench radio. A trench radio is one of the archetypes of modern radios. Regular radios use diodes, transistors, and other semiconductors, but the trench radio uses no semiconductors. The trench radio uses a cutter blade and a pencil instead of a semiconductor. Now let's start making the trench radio. Let's prepare all the necessary components. We'll be using wires that are 0.5 millimeters in width. These copper wires will be used to craft the antenna and coils of the radio. Now, a cutter blade, a pencil, some safety pins, four screws, a copper cable, and a crystal earphone. Make sure to use a crystal earphones because regular headphones are incompatible with the trench radio. Also prepare a wooden stick to wrap the coil around and a pedestal to place the radio. Cut the wooden stick at a random length. 10 centimeters should be more than enough. Once you've cut the wooden stick, wrap a copper wire to create a coil. It helps to have tape when making the coil. The trench radio was invented during World War II by soldiers who wanted entertainment. The radio was created from leftover parts. Trench radios work similarly to mining radios. However, trench radios use a cutter for the detector and a pencil for the needle electrode. By the way, the coil width should be about 0.5 millimeters. Anything wider or thinner would make it difficult to wrap around. Once you've wrapped around 100 times, find the ends of the wires and use some sandpaper to smoothen the surface of the coil. Tear any loose, unnecessary ends of the wires. I peeled this area on the skin of the coil. Cut the tip of the pencil at the 2 cm mark. Next, break apart the safety pin like this. Insert the tip of the safety pin into the pencil. Roast the blade of the cutter lightly. Use a burner if you own one, but the fire of a stove should be good enough. Now let's assemble the components. This is an illustration of the circuit. This part represents the coil with one side open and disconnected. The other end of the coil is connected to the ground. This represents the blade of the cutter. The red line is the single copper cable and with it attach the antenna. Here we have the pencil attached to the molded safety pin. And we have two electrodes over here attached to the crystal earphones. Make sure not to use regular headphones. Fix the cutter blade with a single copper cable. Make sure the cable touches the peeled portion of the coil. Out of the two ends of the coil, one side is open and in the way. So, we're going to cut it off. Mold the single copper cable like this and fix it with the safety pin. I sealed three parts using screws. The screw on the left seals the cutter blade and with it the single copper cable as well. The cable touches the peeled portion of the coil. Insert the safety pin into the screw in the middle and insert it into the molded pencil. Make sure the tip touches the cutter blade. There are two ends to the coil, but keep one available and open, and seal one to the base with a screw on the right. Then connect the crystal earphones.
Peel the earphone cables and seal the ends on the middle and right. They aren't polar, so tie them as you want. We'll be using the rest of the copper wires to create a copper antenna. Connect the completed antenna here. The final important step is to connect the ground right here. We've completed crafting the trench radio, so now we'll start tuning it. The first step would be to place the antenna outdoors. Tie it as high up as possible. I live pretty close to a radio station, so I was actually able to get some connection indoors without setting up the coils. Now comes connecting the ground lines. If there's an earth line on the outlet, connect it there. If there are no earth lines, tie the wires to the faucet and use it as an earth line. Also try grounding a steel stake in the garden and wrapping the ground line around that as an extreme alternative. Once the antenna and ground lines are ready, adjust the pencil lead and the coils. Adjust while listening with the earphones. Start by adjusting the pencil lead. As for the coil, any position worked for me, so I just adjusted the pencil lead by listening in. It's honestly pretty hard to do. Move the cutter blade until you can hear something from the radio station. Ah, this is the position that worked. Best for me. It helped to use the edge of the blade instead of the center part of the blade. Once you've adjusted the pencil lead, move the position of the coil to where the volume is largest. This helps with the clarity. For me, it was this position. I don't know what radio station it is, but I can hear the news right now. By touching the coil, the sum of the human capacitance and the coil's capacitance is combined. And the total capacitance changes a bit, so the volume is altered. Touching it actually increases the volume. So the radio is tuned better when I'm not touching the coil. Now, I can't record the sound when I'm using crystal earphones, so I'm using a random amp to amplify the volume by attaching an earphone jack to where the crystal earphones were, we can use the speaker to listen to the radio. In today's video, we created a trench radio. In my opinion, it works pretty well. However, the detector component made by the cutter blade and the pencil lead is a little bit hard to adjust to tune the radio. In other words, once this is adjusted, the radio functions perfectly fine. The radio sounds are audible as long as it's quiet around. I thought by moving the position of the coils around I'd be able to switch to other stations, but it didn't work. I tried augmenting by making the coils longer so I had more space to switch radio stations, but it didn't work that easily. I was able to switch between two stations, but the sounds overlapped. I couldn't tune it into just one. Tuning was definitely a huge challenge for this one. The ground lines and the antennas are essential for clear, audible sounds. As for the antenna, the higher, the better. 
And as for the ground line, connecting it to a proper ground line definitely helps. That's all for today. Once again, thank you so much for watching the video to the very end.